chair is the quintessential design challenge. And it's sort of like this romantic vision like a Michelangelo had. I'm not saying I'm the Michelangelo of woodworking, but you know, you think this form is lurking inside of this stone and your idea is to liberate it. And with wood, you can cut it, you know, and, and you can glue it. And, and it's, it's easy to cut, but it's strong. In the process of finishing it, you have this dual functionality. So the, on the one hand, you have the shapes that you've created, but then as you finish it, more of the grain is unveiled. And it's sort of dual functionality between the shape that you've created and the unveiling of the grain. That I, It's a very, very satisfying process. The wood, you're actually more interested in aesthetics too. So, so, so in science, you have function and then you have form. But when you design furniture, you're actually looking at, at appearance. So in some sense, you know, what that means is if we make a science instrument and it's ugly, maybe we don't feel so bad as long as we get wonderful data. My name is Jules Jaffe. I'm a research oceanographer at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography here in La Jolla, California. What we do in our group is build scientific instruments for exploring the ocean. I need to know the physics. I need to know the physics of how light goes through the ocean. I need to know the physics of how sound goes through the ocean. Here in the wood shop, well, I know if I stick two pieces of wood together with some glue three hours later, I could scrape them off. And then, you know, some of it's really trial and error. And I like it that way. Here's the process of, of science, the way I do it. I mean, you think of an idea, usually you build a prototype or you do some math or physics and figure out how to do it. And then basically you apply for money. And usually you don't get it the first time. And then you may or not get it second time. And if you don't get it the third time, then they tell you, I'm sorry, you can't try again. So then you build this thing, it takes years. So now we're on the third year of building our little robot guys. It's like, ah! Then you, now you don't even have data, right? You just put the thing out. So now you're starting to get data. Then you figure, oh my God, I got this data. I didn't think of all these things that I needed to do in order to process it. So that's the seven year process, okay? So what about woodworking? Well, I go to the woodworking store, I buy some wood, I get some glue, I come here, and you know, a couple of months later, I got a chair. So for me, it's really a pleasure to not have to wait seven years to see something come back. Although I must say, I must say, there is an exception. It did take me seven years to build my kitchen, and my wife was very patient. <laughs> but that was like a big project, and we saved a lot of money. So there are differences that I enjoy as well.